Hi there guys, um, it's me, I'm back again, um, yeah it's a lovely, lovely day today in England and as you can see it's nice and dry and warm and, and yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only joking, yeah it's a crap day today but um, yeah, I, this video is going to be on my new toy. Um, my moped because I recently turned 16 so I've got myself one of these and yeah this is just going to be a review on it and in case you haven't recognised it which you probably haven't it's an Honda X8RS um, yeah but this one's a Rossi replica edition so there was only a hundred of these made in, in the UK um, I don't really know how many were made in other countries, but I definitely know only a hundred was made because I even got a certificate thing. It was like one of the hundred of these, and it had a picture of Valentina Rossi sitting on it, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've had the bike or the the moped, ped, scooter, whatever you want to call it, for about two months now, and. Here it is. I'm not going to censor out my number plate because I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You're going to come to my house and like kill me. Shit, please don't. Alright, anyways, um, yeah. And this is the bike. I got it and it's really good condition. Like, no scratches, no nothing. Mint. Um,. It's a bit mucky at the moment. I don't know if the camera can pick up on them, but it's got it's pretty dirty. Um, the, this, I mean, I don't know what to say really. I mean, all right, I'll start with the bad things about the bike. I mean, it doesn't really have any bad things, but I mean, these are just little, um, little problems that shouldn't really put you off. Um, the first problem is the key. Here, I don't. I, this is probably just just on my my one, my my specific one. But it doesn't go in smoothly. It's hard to show on camera, but it's like stiff. You have to kind of jiggle it in, and that's one problem, I guess. Um. Here's the boot, nice and spacious. Um, yeah, it can fit a full-size helmet in there, so that's pretty cool. Um, another problem is when I'm pressure washing the bike, um, I don't, I have no idea how, but water gets on this area here, um, gets past the seat, seal things here, it gets past and it gets in here. I mean. The only time this happens is when I'm pressure washing it. Nev I mean, it's not really a problem, especially if you don't have a pressure washer, but, I mean, for me, I just have to be careful washing this area, because I don't really want water around my petrol and my two-stroke oil. So, yeah, but I mean, in the rain, if you're just going to use a normal hose, um, it won't make any difference. Sorry, um, it won't make this bit wet at all. So that's that. Comes with this little thing here where you can put like a booklet in there. I've got a map here. I don't know why, but I mean, I don't even know how to use a map, so. I do a little bit. Mini Atlas of London. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Just put that back in there. Get the keys. I mean, that's about the only bad points I can say. Um, I mean, it's air-cooled. That could be a bad thing for some people. Could be a good thing for some people, I mean. Um, air-cooled makes it a lot lighter, which you want on a ped. But, supposedly, it doesn't cool down the engine as good. But, with my one, I've never had any problems at all. I mean, I've gone on rides for about four hours straight, 
and I've not had the slightest problem with engine overheating and I've been in traffic for long times I mean it's been really reliable I mean the fan in here can really suck really hard I can feel it when I put my hand here so I don't that's not a problem for me but I mean some people don't like air cooled um, yeah so that's a good disadvantage or a disadvantage I don't know that's up to you but yeah I got stock exhaust um, so good things about the bike well everything really everything reliability speed I mean speed you can't expect it to go and beat like R6s but I mean it's good enough lights they're really bright work really good sorry really good front shocks and back suspension they're really nice the, the front tire on mine stock this is the one it came with when when the bike was first made um, yeah oh crap there was some crap on my on my paintwork there yeah anyways tires they're good I mean they're not the best ever but you're on a moped you can't go that fast anyways so I mean they corner well they work good in the rain I can't ask for more and I don't need more so um, looks it, I, I think it looks great to be honest I think it looks really nice apart from that bit there can you guys see that yeah that I, at first to be honest though at first I didn't really like that at all um, but now I've got kind of used to it and I think it's not that bad um, that actually in case you're wondering is solid metal well not solid but it's pretty heavy stuff and that's actually a part of the frame so yeah um, looking at the controls that's your light on and off that's your high beam low beam left and right indicator um, your horn, that's your starter. To start it, this is the same with like most most mopeds, or maybe every single one, not sure. Basically, you hear that first click, then you can hear that second click. Look. Once you hear the second click, and obviously your key has to be inside, you press that button in, and it should start. I mean, let's give it a go. It does have steering lock, so that's that's a good thing. Bike's turning on. You can see the fuel gauge. I don't know why, but the fuel gauge goes up really slowly when you start the bike, or when you turn the key up, so. All right, it's gonna be really hard to start with, like show on the camera, but so basically, brake in. Hopefully it'll start because I can't give it any throttle and it's kind of cold so and it hasn't been started for two days. That was good. So I'm not going to rev it because the engine's cold but yeah. The revs are a bit higher than normal at the moment because it's got automatic choke and it's cold so when you first start your bike don't rev it because it just damages your engine. Most damage happens to your engine when your engine's cold. Um, we can see the fan in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah, hydraulic disc brakes at the back and hydraulic disc brakes at the front. It's also got kickstart, um, that's your air filter. It's a nice bike, not gonna lie. I don't know why Honda stopped making these, but I mean, I like it. And I got a really good deal on it, so I was happy. Um, yeah, comment on what you think, and um, yeah, thank you very much, thank you for watching. This is my Honda X8R review. Um, see you next time.